crosses the lead hook and rear hook. So if I'm an orthodox fighting an orthodox person, right, you have to remember that the initial step is kind of the most important part of this, as well as just not getting hit, right, obviously. So when Yessie throws her cross at me, I'm gonna do a slip as close as I possibly can to the outside of her cross, right, because when I'm close, that means that my counter's gonna be a lot closer. So I slip to the outside of that punch, right, and then I pivot. And on that pivot, I can frame behind her shoulder or her arm there. And it doesn't even necessarily matter if she leaves the arm there or pulls it back. All right, so she pulls it back right away. It doesn't make a difference. I'm still framing above the elbow. That's kind of just the golden rule here. If I'm below the elbow and trying to do it on her hand, right, there's other setups that we can do off of this to maybe set up punching, but she can really easily circle her hand out of that motion. But if I have behind her elbow, or, or rather above the elbow, shoulder and back, all right, she tries to turn into me. All right, I can sort of keep the con some control there. She's slippery, but <laughs> so, all right, vice versa off of the other side. So when she throws her jab, making sure I'm stepping with my lead foot first, slipping my head to the outside, and again on my pivot, right, I can frame with my hand there, right, sort of keeping her in place. And just like me and Paluna were talking about earlier, when I'm doing that frame off of this movement, I, I'm not going to be like really trying to push her or hold her in place for more than two seconds. That's kind of what I'm leading into now. Two seconds is kind of like a comfortable amount of space where it might even be right just on the edge of too long of like holding on to this. With more beginner guys, like you can kind of like mess around with them a little bit and just make them feel dumb and walk them away from you <laughs> like that. But in reality, it's like no real fighter would ever let you do that. You can kind of hold them in place, but they're gonna make some sort of quick adjustment. Um, anyways. So again, I slip to the outside of her jab, I pivot, and I'm gonna to try to frame off of that. Kind of just holding her in place and setting up my punch. I'm not gonna use my lead hand on that side, like this, because now my right hand's gonna be jammed up and sort of like dealing with hitting her, the illegal areas. All right? if I frame with this hand, now I can set up all of my legal strikes. All right? If I have this one, then I'm kind of stuck, like where do I hit here? Maybe the side of her body, I guess. All right, and maybe if she turns into me the side of her head, but you can't punch the back of the head. I can't, I don't want to punch her in the spine or the kidneys. So, right, you have to be a little bit thoughtful and safe there. Rolling out. So if she shows, throws her lead hook at me, right, I set pass. I go ass to ass with her. I go really, really close, and my lead foot steps directly behind hers. Okay, and I'm going to squat into that motion. All right, I'm not going to come and face up, obviously. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's the point, right? So run right into her hook or any other punch that we shoot throw. But instead, if I take my head right out of dodge over here, and I want to pivot, I'm a lot safer. And again, right, I can frame behind her back like this. <laughs> and set up whatever punch I want. On the other side, when I'm going underneath her rear hook, right, when she throws her right hook at me, it's not just like a lateral roll. I don't want to move just directly to the side, because if I make that, uh, if she makes that mistake and I roll underneath it, she can probably make a quick adjustment and sort of reset back in front of me. And my counter is again, not getting any closer to her by moving sideways. We have to think about right, more moving on the circumference of her body. Does everybody know that word? Yes. More or less? Okay. So right, when she throws her right hook <laughs> She throws her right hook at me, her rear hook. Thank you. Yeah, just hold it up. <laughs> yeah, you just nodded. I do. Don't worry. Everybody's like, <laughs> oh. When I roll underneath, all right, I want to step deep past her, and it's almost like I'm preemptively turning my body. So instead of rolling like this, right, I'm going to step and exit out the back like that. Do you see how I kind of set myself up back into my original stance? I step, and now I'm in my stance. And on this angle, versus by right, being on this angle and then having to pivot myself. She throws the right hook at me. All right, and I try to get right underneath. And again, right, framing behind the arm if we can. So a lot of moving parts to this, but you guys are all advanced enough to sort of figure this stuff out. Framing, not 100% necessary every single time, but all right, when you make your exit, it's a good habit to be in if you've already made it to the back of somebody's body here. Anytime somebody's arm is on the opposite side of your body here, it's a great opportunity to frame and control them. 
And then after the frame, what are you doing? Like at that point, like what what point do you then you set up for like a pro a hook? Like like smashing, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shoot the frame and then you like you're not like getting out of it. You're just yeah. Well, you setting can do either way, either way. All right. right. I can frame and then hit. Right. Or I can frame and kind of just use it as like almost like a bit of a push off to set myself back up where I want to be. Right. Or maybe I'm turning her back into the corner. So again, right off of the 180. All right. She tries to turn and face me. And I put her in the corner. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. So let's try to work through just the. Let's try to <laughs> work through uh, just the sequence of the jab, cross, left hook, right hook, and just repeat that over and over again. Not nothing random right now. So if me and Yazi are going, I'm just gonna throw a jab at me. Step, pivot, boom. Cross. Left pivot, go tuck, 180, pivot, right up. Remember this one, we haven't really worked on before. Like, make it feel as though I'm like this, like getting out underneath her armpit. Okay. I'm a lot safer inside of that space than I would be trying to roll out here and then possibly her kind of chipping it down a little bit. Like, when I'm inside of the punch, she tries to turn it into me, right? It's already kind of too late. What a circumference. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's give that a try. One person's going to be going.